nieces and nephews welcome back to my channel today we're gonna jump right into this video i'm gonna be showing you guys how i got this nice white color in just one shot and it really only took like 10 minutes it started off as a 613 yes it did look at that mm -hmm. it sure did and we toned it like super quick. I didn't use any like chemicals or anything like that. I'm going to show you what I use. I also like on my Instagram, I had a lot of people like trying to gauge and see if people could figure out what I was using. A lot of people said I was using like the charcoal uh, shampoos and things like that, but I did not. I actually do have a bottle of the charcoal shampoo. I want to show you what it will do. All right, guys, don't mind my little background. I got a little situation. I'm doing some little upgrading. So this is all I I got let's get into this video okay so this is the actual product when it comes out it's actually like a grayish or black looking color and it's not a shampoo it's not a conditioner it's an actual toner i'm going to submerge the hair with this product i'm going to make sure i work it all the way completely through if you have to comb it through comb it through like you see me doing here in the video i'm not worried about the lace i didn't do anything to protect the lace because it's not going to change the lace any color i actually did like a test strand before i did this um i actually saw people in the comments saying charcoal so i'm gonna show you all about the charcoal later uh, this actually really gets it to a really nice tone. Like I really liked it. Uh, I had this product for a while, probably a couple years, and I had not used it. I purchased it from a um, from one of the hair shows, and I just didn't get a chance to use it. And I found it, and I was like, let me get to this product and see what it does. I did a test strand. I always do a test strand. So that's how I can always tell, you know, if something's going to work. I don't just go gun ho and I try to encourage you guys to do the same thing. Uh, if you can see here, I'm rinsing it out. I'm using um, cool water. I never really use a lot of warm water on my weave. I don't want to disturb the hair. Um, uh, as you can see here, it got it really, really nice and silver. Uh, when it dries, it's a little lighter. This is the product I use. I'm going to put it in the description box. Um, you can go behind it with a purple shampoo. It won't hurt. I'm actually just going to go ahead and I'm going to use the purple shampoo. I'll put the um, link in the description box so you can purchase that. It's by Joy Cole. It's just to give it a little bit more vibrant uh, look. But right here, I'm blow drying the hair and it is nice. Look at that. Compared to the actual 613, I'm going to do the cut right now, guys. In this cut, this is a cut that I've done on my page several times. I keep it very simple for you guys. I'm actually doing a technique here in the back where you twist the hair around and you just cut straight across. It's going to give it a concave look right there, as you can see. Really simple. Then I pull my next layer down, and I'm just going to use that as my guide. And you'll see here, I'm just cutting everything to, you know, what was previously cut as the guide. Now, I'm going to create some layers here. I actually have a very detailed video on creating layers. If you notice there, I was holding it at a 45 degree angle and I'm just bringing that hair down, using that hair as a guide to go against it. It's not really hard. Anybody can do this cut. Make sure you go back and watch a lot of my cutting videos. I have those videos on my page and I have them separated so you guys can find them. But this was a very, very simple bob cut that anybody can do. I'm just cleaning it up, pulling everything down from the top, and then the little hair in the middle part back there, I did that at a 45 degree angle. For my detailed videos on hair cutting, make sure you go check those videos out. We're just gonna go ahead and I'll continue to walk you through this cut. I'm gonna pull everything up at 90 and then I will use it as a traveling guide, the piece that I cut at the top. And you can see me going down and I'm just creating long layers right here. But like I said, go watch those videos of me when I'm showing you guys like step by step the different angles. Right here, I'm cutting the bang area. I'm just fringing it out at an angle. The hair wasn't very long when I started, but I'm going to continue working my way all the way around so that I can create some uh, long layers in the top. And if you see, I'm moving section by section and I'm just slicing it. All right, so here is the part where I use the actual ion and the product right here um, that I did this actual unit with. I did a comparison because some people um, talked about using charcoal and how they use charcoal and it worked for them. So I just grabbed some charcoal from Sally's and this is what 
I got. It didn't do anything. Like, I don't know how long you had to leave it on there, but I did it the same amount of time compared to the professional product. And this is why I like to use professional products. And I know here on YouTube is a mixture of type of people, but this is the very reason why I like to use professional products. If you see here, the one that is a professional product, it when I rinsed it out, it was silver. Like, th the professional products are going to be more pigmented. Uh, maybe I you can leave it on longer, but I just don't have that kind of time So I try to you know just show you guys like a cross comparison of what you know It'll do but it didn't do anything for me and people said they did it, but hey it didn't work for me Okay, so let's get into this install when I put my units on myself I like to go ahead and cut the lace because it's going to be in my way So I'm using my peaking shears or you could call them zigzag shears And I just cut along and I leave about a fourth of an inch in front So I don't leave a whole lot of lace as you can see here Just enough lace so that it gives it a natural look if I cut all the lace off I personally feel like it makes it look really fake so this is a actual Swiss lace. So I'm going to have to tint it. With, I'm going to have to use makeup and the actual bow hole lace tint because the lace is so thick. When you're working with Swiss lace, it is super thick. And I'm just going to show you guys like how I conceal it. Um, I'm going to do the makeup first. I'm going to use some hairspray because makeup is oil-based. So I want to spray that actual hairspray on top. I'm gonna do my ball cap with my liquid gold. You can actually watch those videos as well when I show you how I do those. You can see those in previous videos. Also guys, I'm gonna use the tape only because I'm not gonna keep the unit on that long. Guys, so on the ball hole tape, you wanna make sure you cut it properly. There's a slit in the middle. You're not gonna cut with the slit. You're gonna cut against the slit. So when you get ready to peel the tape off, and put it on you, you'll be able to get it off really easy. So you see here, I'm using my tweezers to peel the tape off. You're gonna leave that silver piece there and you're gonna place those tabs on top of your area. This is gonna make it easy because you'll see the slits are in the middle now that you cut it properly so that you'll be able to take that tape off. Look here when I peel that tape. I'm never gonna peel from the corners. If you peel from the corners, it's gonna be hard to get off. Now I'm going to peel directly from that middle portion of that tab. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. This is like one of the easiest installs. It doesn't require a whole lot. We just ask that you make sure that you place that tape totally on your skin and not on your hair. A lot of times people don't realize how fine the hairline is and that hair can be pulled easy because that hair is not as strong as the hair towards the back and center of your head. Now I'm just taking some liquid gold here and I'm just cleaning up this area. Like I said, this lace is still very, very, very light. I'm still gonna go on top of it with the tint and you'll see me do it, but I'm just kind of like molding and kind of blending that hairline down with that liquid gold. I'm gonna take my boho lace tint and I'm gonna go directly on top and you will see here where it actually darkens it nicely. I didn't wanna do makeup because I feel like sometimes makeup can be a little like orangey. It just depends and I don't like to use it when I'm wearing like light hair. I don't like to use a lot of it. So you saw when I did the makeup, I did it underneath and I used a smaller brush. You see here, it looks amazing guys. Like you gotta let me know if you try this guys because I really like how it worked. I'm gonna try some other products as well because I know everybody is looking for like a one step that's going to take you to where you want to be. Thank you guys for watching. All right.